Hi, I'm Kelly from the Royal Bee Yarn Company. And I'm Tony. I'm Kelly's husband. Also from the Royal Bee Yarn Company. Yeah, we're backwards. Although, yeah. I just realized we're backwards. I'll oh, try and that's fix all right. that. <laughs> anyway, okay. this is our first video vlog. 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 <laughs> we're the Royal Bee Yarn Company. And it's uh, a scary times. It's uh, coronavirus times, isn't it? So, you know, we're, we're still touching. Though. We're still touching. We're each still other's touching. Faces. I, will, I will wash that face <laughs> later on. I nearly have my eye out. This is going well. Anyway, yeah. um, super professional. So, we got quite bored. So, we thought, what should we do? Let's make a blog, a big video <laughs> long blog. We've been talking about doing this for a really long time. Yeah, and, so, you know, yeah. we launched the um, shop here in Pacifica about um, two and a half years ago. And this was always kind of part of our plan. But, you know, stuff gets in the way. Busy buying yarn. And we also, like, launched our own um, yarn brand, the Royal Bee Yarn Company Purple Couch Collection, which um, we named after our stitch group. More about that some other time. Yeah. Um, um, and we just thought it would be fun to do something distracting, bring a little joy and happiness. And which you have been doing with, yeah. um, with our live stitch, stitch <laughs> yeah, nights. Yeah, we've been having virtual stitch nights, which have been really charming. Yeah. It's been really fun. We've been and doing virtual that shopping. Our, yeah, we've been doing a lot of virtual shopping, which is fantastic. And thank you everybody who has decided to either shop for my yarn brand online or uh, to go virtual shopping with me in the shop. Um, so far, you are helping me um, stay afloat. And hopefully that plus some loans, etc. will get us through this difficult time. But enough about that, because that's not what we're talking about. So this is just basically an introductory. Yeah. Try it, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Be professional as possible. <laughs> So you may have noticed that Tony has an accent. I do. <laughs> and, it's a Welsh um, accent. I'm from Wales, the land of sheep. <laughs> yes. And I lived there for uh, 20 years, which was, um, we met when we were in college and then mm. I emigrated mm. and fell in love with all the fluffy sheep and beautiful countryside that is Wales. We and lived in Wales and England for a time. Yeah. Not and, too far from Stonehenge. Yeah. And we were we lived in Bath for probably yeah. the longest period of time. And it is pronounced Bath. If you live in Bath, the people from Bath say Bath, not Bath. But um huh, bit of trivia there for you. <laughs> Don't you hate it when people say Bath? <laughs> And, um, so we lived there. Yeah. I was a musician for a while and I decided to go into teaching, which is what I am now. I'm a elementary school teacher. Tony was a famous distance. rock star back in the day. No, he wasn't. was officially famous in Japan. I wasn't famous. <laughs> he was. No, wasn't. <laughs> he didn't go to gold record in uh, Germany no, and he totally was. It was all very punky. And we're still in a band. We're still in a band. And we have band tattoos. Um, Aaron, Aaron Brazil. Brazil and the Brazilianaires and um, Aaron and Don, our bass player, also have a tattoo. Johnny's Johnny the, doesn't. Uh, Johnny no, doesn't have a virgin tattoo. Skin. That's his issue. <laughs> yeah. He's just gotta live with that for the rest of his life. <laughs> but we still love him. Yes. Anyway, why did we open a yarn store, Kelly? <laughs> Let's get back to the point. Um, well, I worked in the video games and technology industry for years and years and years in the publishing industry, and I published magazines such as Official Xbox Magazine, um, uh, Nintendo Power, uh, PlayStation, GamesRadar, GamesRadar.com, I launched TextRadar.com in the US, um, some creative magazines like 3D World, Imagine Effects, and then I had the opportunity to launch uh. Ma ah, Molly Makes um, here. And it's owned by another publisher yeah, now. And um, originally, you know, the concept and um, uh, came out of the UK, Catherine Radrick. Um, she's amazing and her team. And then I got the fortune of being able to launch it here. And it's still going strong. And I subscribe to it and I have it in my shop um, because I love it. And it's how I fell in, in love with the yarn industry. It was such a contrast to video games and technology and I thought one of these days I would love to open up a yarn shop and I was just getting to the stage in my career where I was, you know, like most sat behind a desk. Um, I was 
VP of content and product. Um, and then I also worked for marketing for a fintech company and uh, e-commerce supply chain. And I just was craving a community that was all around me. We'd go into the grocery store and it'd be like, Mr. Court, Mr. Court and Tony, that's is yeah our last name um and um and he knew everybody in pacific and we didn't know any but i didn't know anybody oh danger danger um here let me help you with that oh. <laughs> and I, think I, did, I actually felt your eye so i, I and um but anyway um we were just i was craving community um um with the support of my mom and Tony, they were like, just go for it. You know, you're launching go brands for, for other people, do it for yourself. And I, they were the wind beneath my wings and I just went for it. And thankfully it's worked out and it's been the happiest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, you announced it on your birthday and I was like, I oh, great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Until three in the morning when I woke up <laughs> screaming. Yeah. In panic, what has she done? Yeah. Hey but folks, look at our four hundred one k. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the bee a little bit, Kel. Yeah, yeah. So when it, you the know, community. In, yeah. In addition to selling yarn, which is obviously now how I earn my living, um, I think I alluded to earlier that the community aspect is the thing that really drove me to want to know my neighbors, to be engaged. And I'll just touch my face again. I, I know. <laughs> I won't poke you in the eye this time. I'll restrain myself, but the temptation is overwhelming. Anyway. Um, I have we, a very touchable face. <laughs> it's a very touchable, cherub-like touchable face. Um, we, um, you know, I really, really wanted to have community. And so we have um, a big seating area. And anytime we're open, we invite people to come and hang out. And we have... You know, we just have the best community. You know, fiber people. You're a fiber person yourself if you're watching this, and you know that we're good people. And um, so far, I haven't met really a fiber person that I I don't love. If you love yarn, there's something special about you. So, um, but it's nice. um, I know. You didn't tell me you were going to say that. It was oh, nice. Oh, thanks. I, well, I think the, the beauty of this. <laughs> he's acting like any of this is rehearsed, and it totally isn't. We were just <laughs> we're winging it. We people. did our rehearsals last night. <laughs> we are winging it. Big Do you know time. what? I think the. <laughs> The, appear, the idea why we want to do a vlog <laughs> with me, because I know nothing about yarn at all. <laughs> I've been working in the yarn industry or the industry for <laughs> two and a half years and I know nothing. Well, because he doesn't do any work. He just is like, he hangs pictures. He's, he's I like boxes. <laughs> I change the water bottle now and again. Yeah, brute force. <laughs> um, so I, I, I've not been seduced by the yarn yet 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 but i'm here to learn and try my very best <laughs> so <clears throat> we um we do have um kind of rules for the hive we we have like our little inclusivity um flag and we have um some rules of engagement which is basically Put up close I'm oh. not, I'm not gonna, you <laughs> can not pause gonna... it if you want to read it <laughs> yeah. but it's probably backwards anyway. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah, it totally wouldn't work <laughs> it's fine <laughs> but um we're we're all about inclusivity mm -hmm. here we embrace our bipoc and lgbtqia uh, community and um we're a safe space we're a place um where you can be yourself and um enjoy each other in in fiber so <laughs> <laughs> just let's touch my face yeah sorry and um and that's you know we've got the privilege of living in the bay area that and um, that's a really easy thing to accomplish. It's easy for me to stand up for my principles here. And I know that that's harder in some other places, but, um, mm. you know, I'd rather be um, hated for what I stand for uh, than assumed to be uh, something that I am not, which is also kind of funny because I'm mixed race, but my skin is incredibly light. I look whiter than Whitey McWhitey from Whitertown, but actually I'm not, but that's okay. Not <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's just about like not judging each other on the outside and loving who we are on the inside and in every flavor that we come in. And that's really important for us um, here at the Bee. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of the story of um, I don't I, think they saw the cut. <laughs> they'll um, never know. 
<laughs> but anyway, yeah. Tony it's really... washed his eye out. Yeah. <laughs> so you talk, you talk, you tell about okay, you. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, we're going through difficult times at the moment, you know, with um, quarantining and washing our hands. <laughs> Never done that before. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, the I've just watched teachers just invent, totally reinvent how we teach long distance using Zoom and Google Meets and it's amazing what the teachers have done, especially in my district, Pacifica, but to keep kids learning and engaged and just mainly to keep in contact with them, that to make them know that we still care about them and we love them. And you know, I'm not so much a classroom teacher anymore, I'm more an admin now, so I'm kind of coordinating and helping with that, but it's really good to see teachers just reinventing the wheel. It's just amazing. Scary times. Tell a little bit about Wales and where you grew up and, you know, maybe a sheep joke. <laughs> I know, I don't want to get arrested on our first show. Um, Wales is a small country uh, on the <laughs> western side of England. It's a uh, population of about three and a half million. It's very beautiful. There's some famous people that come from Wales, like Tom Jones, Shirley Bassey, Christian Bale, um, Michael Sheen, the actor. Um, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. St. Patrick was Welsh, actually, apparently. Mm -hmm. Anthony Hopkins. Um, we invented the words, well, Welsh words you might know. Uh, <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> flannel. Uh, no, not flannel. Yeah. Yeah, flannel. Towel. And penguin. Penguin actually means white head in Welsh. And that's where the word penguin comes from. Towel? Towel. I don't think towel is. Oh, you're making I, that I, up. I told you that. That was a lie. I told you once. Okay. That's why I moved you. <laughs> um, but um, Wales is a beautiful country, lots of hills and mountains. Um, it, you know, it's kind of, think Lord of the Rings, but smaller, like lower mountains. <laughs> and um, It's known yeah. for its sheep. And um, known for its sheep known for its uh, close harmony singing, mm. known for um, rolling hills and beautiful coastline, very much like Northern California, very wild and rugged, um, blue, deep blue oceans that you would never go in because you would freeze to death. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, my family is still in Wales. We spoke to them this morning, they're yeah. doing their all quarantining and, you know. And like I said, I lived there for 20 years. Um, yeah, I met Kelly in Wales, we met mm -hmm. and, um, we met on our first day of college in Wales. It was mm -hmm. my first day of college and we met- Trinity um, College. <laughs> Trinity College in Carmarthen, which is West Wales, Wild Wales. Yeah. And we and we got married very young. It worked out though. 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> yeah, it'd be 30 years 30 this years. year. And is it 30 years? Is it 29 or 30, 30 years this 30 years in December. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we've been married 30 years. So yeah. I'm, I sounded American then. We've been married 30 years. We've been married 30 years. <laughs> and um, yeah, we lived in Wales for the first five, six years, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to across the border into England, lived in Gloucester, then near Bath, 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 Bath. And, you know, um, I graduated college and I became a musician. I got signed in a band and, and then I became a teacher and I taught in England for the first eight years of my career. And then in 2008, we decided to come to live in California. Mm -hmm. And we were looking for somewhere to live in California and we were looking at an A, triple A map and we saw the word Pacifica. And I thought, what a cool name for a town. Named after the Pacific Ocean, which it isn't, it's named after a statue. But anyway, we turned up and we drove down Sharp Park Road. If you're a local, you'll know where that is. And we thought, yes, I think we're going to live here. It was beautiful. One of the things that I love the most about Pacifica is that you can wear your pajamas in the grocery store and be kind of dressed up. <laughs> this is a really casual <laughs> beach surf town. We're famous for the... Taco Bell on the beach. <laughs> Taco Bell on the beach. We have the world famous doggy surf competition, which yeah. actually, I, I think it is actually what one. Else? And the other famous um, thing about it is... Um, uh, 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 the actor, <laughs> the actor is not that famous. He's from Pacifica. He's famous. 
What's his what name? <laughs> Schneider. Rob yeah, Schneider. Rob Schneider. He's yeah. from Pacifica He's from as well. Pacifica. So if you're watching this, Rob. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> so in addition to the community, we're also um, fairly crunchy granola kind of folks. <laughs> and um, um, my yarn, um, which I'll do a little close up of. Um, comes from a little farm. The fleece comes from a little farm in North Carolina. It's 18 microns, so it's really, really soft. What's and, a micron? Oh, it's the um, uh, density of uh, hair. I remember this. A human hair is 100 microns. It's about 100 microns. So the lower the micron level, the softer uh, the fibers. This is a really soft. So this is really soft. Let's do a really close-up scrunch. Oh. I know you like this, don't you? <laughs> They like to squish, don't they, young people? I do. That's and, quite good. I quite enjoyed that squish. Yeah. And then it's, um, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Something slightly wrong about it, but we'll move on. And um, it <laughs> it's, um, is uh, milled then by um, a husband and wife who bought um, a farm and a small mill. And so they mill it not too far from the farm where the um, happy sheep produce this. And then it's hand dyed in all natural dyes. So these are some of the um, sort of highly variegated, uh, which I don't actually have the variegated ones on my um, website um, because they're really hard to photograph. And all of my yarn, because it's hand dyed, um, they're more like, uh, well, not more like, they are 100% sisters, not twins. And so there's um, a lot of um, variegation that <laughs> you're really upset you It's really bizarre. You're just it's too the much. Yarn. I told to squish the, you told me to squish the yarn. <laughs> He's totally lying. He's just cracking me up. But anyway, so that's my yarn, <laughs> and it's available on my website. And this is, well, I'll probably mention it every single time we get together, but our idea going forward with regard to the um, vodcast podcast Love. is to <laughs> is to um, feature various different yarns um, and um, the independent dyers that um, we have in the shop. So uh, we're going to start with Dragon Horde. Um, because Paul. she's uh, a, a personal friend of ours, Tristan. She's amazing. She's a person. We love her. I call her my gothic angel. We'll tell you more about her um, the next time we Hopefully get together. Hopefully, we get on a show one day. Yeah, that'd be back. amazing. Yeah. And when you know, when all this the COVID dust settles, that's gross. Yeah, that was um, gross. That's not sanitary. I have to wash wash myself now. <laughs> wash my mouth. <method>. Um, <laughs> When this the dust settles, you know we want to get people from the the hive as yeah. we say. People who come to our store and just hang and they help and they're supporting us right yeah. now with their they are. generosity. Hopefully, get some on to show you some tips. Some of them are just the most amazingly creative people. Yeah, I've tremendous, ever met. tremendous. Um, I know nothing about knitting, but wow, these people and crochet. Really I mean, we have a lot of crocheters Crochet. too. It's not just knitting. It's knitting, it's crochet, it's embroidery. We have a lot of mm. uh, sewing. We have, I mean, we don't really sell um, uh, material and, and sewing notions, but we do have a lot of embroidery, crochet, and um, knitting. I keep looking to the right because people are walking up and down. Yeah. And it's kind of, they must be looking as thinking. What the heck are these people doing? And, yeah. and They're not I'm questioning. <laughs> We're married. We can sit as close as we want. Just don't touch my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they keep what? And I'm not crying. Well, I'm kind of crying. I have. Um, you're going to see me touching my eyes constantly, which is a real problem because I have um, dry eyes, and so my eyes are constantly watering. So I also cry when I laugh. You have dry eyes, but your eyes are constantly watering. Yeah, I know. I know it's counterintuitive, you, but it's you, the truth. You know when it's a joke. Truth. You know when a joke hits home with Kelly <laughs> is when she starts crying. That's good. Yeah. We this is we make each other laugh a lot, don't we? We do. Yeah. Laughter is the um, <laughs> best medicine in a time like this. Yeah. So keeps keeps mentioning it. We said we weren't going to mention it. Mention he, what? he can't stop. You know. Mention the thing. Oh, the thing. Yeah. The oh, thing. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Well. Again, thank you, everybody. Yes. Um, we will try to work on our format yeah. a little bit, but we just wanted to be kind yeah. of our authentic selves. And 
um, take us or leave us. And um, also, again, like um, Christy, who's one of our Hive members, we call ourselves the Hive, um, the people that hang out here on a regular basis, um, said that tight-knit communities are what is gonna get us through this. And I really believe that. Help your neighbors. You know, if there's somebody elderly that needs some groceries dropped off, if you can support your local business with a little something, something, like, and don't be too proud to ask for help if you mm. need it. Um, and I'm if there's telling. anything we can do virtually to yeah. help and support you, let us know. Yeah, no, that's okay. The, no, yeah. go on, go on. I was going to say, the kids at Sunset Ridge, the school I work at, you know, there, we've been telling them to make a heart, a big cardboard heart, and put a message in it and put it in the oh, window. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. It's a sweet Miss idea. the kids. Yeah. It's, this is tough, and but we'll get through this, and you'll get through these shows, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Delete, delete. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. We'll do another one in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Bye. Don't touch my face. <laughs>